Hey everyone, just thought I'd take you on a little tour of my grow room so I could show you what's going on. So here it is. So this room, it's in my basement. It's about a 10 by 10 room. And I'm using it to grow things, as you can see. I'm going to just walk around quick and shut off these lights because they start to mess with the camera. So I'll show you first the big corner here. So I have ahi habanero and the pepidou in two gallon buckets with the master blend formula nutrients. This I believe is the other pepidou. I uh, moved him over here because it looked like he was getting a little leggy so I wanted to try to get him a little closer to the light. Hopefully that'll help. I have my big beef tomato plant, which you can see there's a few flowers. I don't see any fruit setting yet, but I do tap them to help pollinate them, because that's what they need. So since I didn't do that yet today, I'll do that now. Back here, I have cucumber plant. This is called the little potato cucumber supposed to have little brown looking cucumbers and they're supposed to have a lemon flavor to them over here I have some collard greens they're in about half strength nutrients right now probably ready for full strength so I'll have to do that pretty soon and then I have my cherry tomato so this thing's been growing crazy and if you look there's cherry tomatoes everywhere that are all nice and green but none of them have been ripening yet so hopefully now with the addition of the hidden harvest grow light right there it will help and hopefully I'll get some red cherries I can eat pretty soon this other light here is a 600 watt LED they call them full spectrum I mean it's been growing things pretty well um, just not finishing them off it looks like uh, as far as the tomatoes anyways just not ripening yet so here's my lettuce my poor little lettuce I actually had the arrow garden up on the top shelf with the light turned backwards so it was over top of them but I think it was too far away because they acted like they were bolting so I cut them all down and put the new light over them and hopefully they may come back if not I guess we'll have to replant those here's my timer uh, I got this off of Amazon. Real good timer. Got it for like 10 bucks. Uh, you set the clock. You set the on time, the off time. So far it's been working just fine. No problems. So here's my shelf. Um, this is where I normally germinate my seeds up here. I have a little, I believe this is like a 40 or 45 watt clip-on light. Um, and as you can see in here, I have the other ahi habanero. And... Those are the lemon starbursts in there. And I also have some cow horns that I'm trying to germinate. And normally, I germinate my seeds in this little Tupperware. Um, for all of the stuff that I do in hydroponic, like the lettuce and stuff, I just throw them in the Rockwell cubes, put them in there, put that under the light. Seems to work good. Down here, all my Rockwell cubes. I have my master blend stuff, I have some arrow garden stuff, um, I have some dirt down in the bottom, that's uh, my so or seed starting dirt. And then as far as new stuff, I actually got this, it's a door, um, cut it down to two foot by four foot, well it was two foot, cut it down to four foot, that's where I'm going to start all my seeds for the spring. And I got these new lights. Um, so this is just a shop light. I actually got two of them. They are LED. They're like 33 bucks. They're 5200 lumens and 6500K uh, spectrum. So they should be perfect for starting all my seeds. So one thing, I did a lot of planning to get them to hang in the middle of the table. So you can see I got the little things up there. Light is hanging exactly over the center of the table, which is not where I want it. 
Um, I have two lights, so naturally it can't go over the center of the table. Does me no good. So now I have to remeasure and redo them so that when the two lights hang, they'll cover the whole 2x4 area. The other thing that I got that I'll show you, I got um, these off Amazon. It was like $12.99. I got 100 4 inch cups to start seeds in and popsicle sticks. A bunch of them. So I could write what, uh, what the seeds are when I plant them. Hopefully I'll only have to plant them once and then I only have to transplant them once when I go outside in the spring. So I'll just uh, throw my lights back on here so I don't forget to turn them back on or else all my stuff won't grow. Slide that back underneath. Give them a little light. And that is about it for now. So like, subscribe if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it if you like. And I will talk to you later. See ya.